was, and now Ed had sealed up his, his deck in the box. So I had it sealed up in the box so that we could see that it was completely in control. There was no fussing around by anybody else, although the Russian astronaut did look around the corner very briefly. And uh, then I asked Ed to take it out of the pack and fan it out in front of the camera with the, the faces of the cards towards him so that the selected card, the one that he turned over the deck, would be the only one that would show up there so there could be no confusion. And he shuffled through it very slowly and then he came to one that he saw was turned over but he couldn't tell what it was. It was evident to the camera right away so that couldn't be substituted or changed. And he took it out of the, the back and he turned it around and he saw for the first time what it was. And I was doing the same thing back on Earth and I was standing out in front of the reporters and the, the cameraman and whatnot. I was standing through it and I came upon the, my card that was turned over, but I could see which card was turned over. And I turned the pack around and I pulled it out and it was the Seven of Diamonds, which corresponded to his card, the Seven of Diamonds. So we had both chosen the same card. Now at this point, I asked the question that I was dying to ask Ed Lou. I hoped against hope that he might answer it correctly, and by golly, he came through with it. I said, now Ed, you know a certain amount about mathematics and statistics and such. What are the chances that we would both have chosen the same card? Now, what do you think the answer would be? Thank you, Number. 110. People say 1 in 52. No, because it's right. two. But no, no, it's times, it's times. Exactly what Ed said. He said, knowing you and your strange ways, he said your, your tricky ways. I think he said, I would suspect that it's one and one. Ah. Because it's a trick. Ah. And I've often asked people uh, uh, for this. I think I'll do some uh, supposedly psychic miracle, a bit of mentalism when I do my lectures. And I say, now, what are the chances of that being successful? And people say, oh, yeah, I see it's it's to one. And I say, no, one and one, one and one, exactly the correct answer, because it's a trick. And they all go, oh, oh. And it never occurred before. <laughs> but Ed came up with the right answer, so congratulations to Ed Lou. And uh, then he then, uh, he agreed with me off camera. Uh, I beg your pardon. Uh, it must have been the hot dog. Uh, <laughs> I'll save this card. Now, I told him to bring the whole deck back to Earth, but they made sure that he jettisoned the entire deck except for the one card, which he had to smuggle inside his oh, classroom. <laughs> they wouldn't even allow him to bring that one back, because they were cutting down on the weight of Earth. But that, someplace in space, there are 51 cards out there. <laughs> That's going to confuse the aliens. <laughs> I know exactly what they are, too. <laughs> seven of diamonds and they're, they're floating around in orbit someplace wow. and I guess gradually coming back into the atmosphere. So if you're going along the beach one of these days and you see a, a blue back bicycle card, you'll, you'll know what it is. <laughs> uh, or you'll know what it isn't. Where it That's is. for sure. That's Not an amazing trivia time. question. There are 51 cards in space. Which one is missing? Exactly. Oh. Yeah, very good. But anyway, <laughs> Ed did mail it back to me after he made a beautiful display of the original card and I sent him the card that I had chosen from the deck. I autographed it, he autographed his, and we put them, if you're at the JRF, you may have seen that in the little atrium there, that it's up on the wall. And that's a <coughs> hell of a good souvenir to have, I can tell yeah, you. Yeah. And so, to Ed Lou, uh, again Ed, thank you very, very much <laughs> for, your, for your help in doing this. And I apologize that the fact, folks at NASA have been after you for the last several years saying, <coughs> how did you do that, Ed? Yeah. And he doesn't know. <laughs> I think some people do know. Yeah, I was going to say, how <laughs> did you do it? <laughs> <laughs> I think you suspect, Mark. Yeah, I, think, well. I think you have a very good notion of how that was done. But it was, it was a damn good trick, if I want to say so myself. Yeah. Yes, it was.